In this video, we would be solving this question which says, on the same graph, use blue wing to draw the indifference curve for Elmer. That contains the bundles that he likes exactly as well as the bundle 1, 1 and the indifference curve that passes through the point 16, 5. We drew this graph in my previous video, where on the x-axis we have good x, y-axis we have good y, and this was the indifference curve passing through the point 4, 5. Now, the question asks us to put indifference curve here. The first one is that passes through the point 1, 1. So, let's first calculate the utility at the point 1, 1. That would be minimum of x, y square. That would be minimum of x, oh sorry, 1, 1 square should be equal to 1. Now note that perf in case of minimum functions or we can say a perfect complement function, there is a rule that the kink would always lie where this value is equal to this value. So my x should be equal to y square and the utility at this point should also be equal to the utility I am getting from my entire difference curve. So I want this should be equal to 1. So, if I solve this, I get x is equal to 1. And if I solve this, I get again y is equal to 1. Kink point now becomes 1, 1. So, simply what I have to do here is just plot 1, 1 and draw parallel lines to the previous graph. Intersecting at the point 1, 1 and you would be easily able to get your desired indifference curve. But note that things are not always so simple that you simply just plot the given point which is 1 comma 1 here and draw a parallel lines. It might be the case that the given point to you is not a kink point which happens in the next case. Suppose you have a point 16 comma 5. So the utility at 16 comma 5 now becomes minimum of 16 comma 5 square which is equal to minimum of 16 and 25 which is clearly 16. Now again the intersection here or the king point would be where your x is equal to y square is equal to 16. So you have x is 16 and y is taking a value of y square is taking a value of 16 this implies y would be taking a value of 4. So, your intersection point becomes 16, 4 and not 16, 5. Though the utility from both the points would be same, but your kink point is now 16, 4. So, do not just blindly plot the point 16, 5 and draw parallel lines through it. No, that would not be the case. So, be very careful of that. This is your point 16, 5. And uh, next, I have to draw plot a point 16, 4, which would lie here. And drawing parallel lines through it, the point 16, 4, I would be able to get my desired indifference curve. Now note that here 16, 5 really does not lie on a kink. Rather, it lies on one of the seg line segments of your indifference curve. So you have to be very careful that you cannot just draw your indifference curve to the point 16, 5. Moving on to the next part, it says on your graph, Use black ink to show the locus of points at which Elmer's indifference curve have k. What is the equation for this graph? So this was the graph we drew in the previous part. Elmer's have a utility function of the form u, x, y is equal to minimum of x, y square. And in case of minimum or perfect complements, you have a king where this value is equal to this value. That means x is equal to y square. So simply drawing this graph, which would look like a parabola, this is the black graph. So what we have basically done is we have joined this point, this point and this point. These are your kink points. Joining this, you would be able to get your black curve, which has the equation of x is equal to y square. You do not even know how this graph would look like. All you have to do is just simply join these points and you would be able to get a desired graph. 
So sometimes you have to act smart and not know all the basics. Here, if you do not know how to draw this graph, then also you would be easily able to solve this question. So all you have to do is just join the kink points. We're going to the next part. Now the question further says, on the same graph, use black ink to draw Elmer's budget line. With the price of X as 1, price of Y as 2 and his income is 8. What bundle does Elmer choose in this situation? Let PX represent the price of good X which is 1. PY represent the price of good Y which is 2. And M represent his income. The standard equation of the budget line is X PX plus Y PY is equal to M. Such that your expenditure is equal to income and... The consumer have, is having a well-behaved preferences, so he would be exhausting all his income. So, substituting the values of prices and income, I have x multiplied by 1 plus y multiplied by 2 is equal to 8 or x plus 2y is equal to 8. This is my budget equation. Now, we have to plot this graph, which would be plot this equation. So, this would be this black line. Further the question says what bundle does Elmer choose in this situation? Now the optimal choice with perfect complements. If the goods are perfect complements the quantity demanded would always lie on the diagonal since the optimal choice occur where x1 is equal to x2. So here your neutrality function was of the form minimum of x1 comma x2 so your optimal choice would always lie on your king point now note that this budget line is intersect with this indifference curve at the point 4 comma 2 so by this cons method your optimal consumption bundle would be 4 comma 2 this is the point where this locus of the points at which inter n was indifference curve has king is intersecting with the budget line. So, is the point 4, 2. Or, this is the point where the kink of one of the indifference curves is touching the Elmer's budget line, ensuring that he gets the maximum utility and is also exhausting his income simultaneously. So, that was all for this video.